Abdelahai Hashi Farah has been awaiting deportation in an Edmonton jail for six months. His story exposes serious cracks in the immigration screening system. When we see a lack of resourcing, a lack of staffing, um, errors can be made. Criminologist Kelly Sundberg says Canada has a small but growing problem with sometimes lax immigration screening and enforcement. We're going to see problems like this where individuals fall through the crack and do pose a danger to the public. More than a decade ago, while a permanent resident of the U.S., Farah joined the Somali Outlaws gang and soon racked up a long list of criminal convictions. 29 people indicted on sex trafficking charges. To avoid deportation to Somalia, he became an informant against his own gang in a sex trafficking case that involved girls as young as 12. Farah eventually refused to testify, was imprisoned, and then repeatedly breached probation after he got out. Former Homeland Security agent Tony Langland was Farah's handler for two years. He was in the life. He, was, he had not stopped it at all. In October last year, facing arrest, he crossed illegally into Canada at Emerson, Manitoba, was caught, and went before the Immigration and Refugee Board. Farah's seemingly candid admission of his criminal record and gang ties impressed an IRB member. In my estimation, you are probably one of the most honest detainees that I have come across, he said, and released Farah in Winnipeg. If they would have found out a portion of what had happened down here, I can't conceive that they would have let him out. Just six days later, Farah breached his release conditions and was rearrested. That same day, the CBSA accessed Farah's cell phone. They found recent photos and videos of Farah playing with a loaded handgun, doing cocaine, and flashing wads of cash. But that evidence was not immediately provided to the IRB. The CBSA won't say why. Without it, the board again released Farah in March and allowed him to move to Calgary, but he again took off. Police arrested Farah here early on the morning of June 11th. Drunk and high on street drugs, he'd been in a fight. Nearby, police found a dumped getaway car that had been used in a string of armed convenience store robberies. A CBSA officer picked him out of security camera footage from a robbery. Despite that, police won't say why Farah is no longer a suspect. The IRB now expects Farah won't be deported to Somalia until February at the earliest. But He's made it clear he intends to return to Canada as soon as he can. Charles Rusnell, CBC News, Edmonton.